As more and more businesses begin to reopen, some are deciding not to. The 25% capacity limit is forcing some to delay openings because it's just not cost effective. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld joins us now live in the newsroom with more on this. Mike. Hi, Ginger. Hi, everyone. Listen, the owners and staff of the New England eatery would love to be back in business this week, but they just can't. 42 people work there, but the authentic menu and limited 25% capacity make it impossible to open the doors. At full strength, the empty dining area would be bustling with 200 customers or more. We've never seen this before. In our restaurant, I don't believe it has ever been closed. But for now, the New England eatery in Melbourne Beach remains on the economic sidelines. It's kind of a double-edged sword. We want to open, um, but there's a lot of concerns with doing that. Tawny Tusher manages the restaurant. She tells News 6 staff is ready to work, complete with masks and safety protocol, but the authentic New England menu has become a casualty of the times. The seafood, fresh, not frozen, isn't being trucked in from the Northeast. And then there's that phase one limit of 25% capacity. It just isn't cost effective. You wouldn't even be breaking even? No, no, we can't cover our overhead at that. As far as income, like the bills are just piling up and I don't have any source of income right now. Julie Scion has worked at the restaurant eight years. The weekend after St. Patrick's Day, they shut it down. No business, no income. I'm getting nervous right now. Nervous because she's a single mom with an eight-year-old son. No child support. She's the owner's niece and understands as the family business is taking a hit, they all are on the financial brink. So to have my only source of income to support my family taken and to not know even if I am brought back is really stressful. Yeah, that broke my heart. Uh, she just broke down thinking about it, what she has to do for her son. And let me tell you this, Julie and many of the staffers are still dealing with delays on getting unemployment benefits. So while the phase one return offers hope for some, many are still stuck without a paycheck or a job. Ginger? Yeah, that is just heartbreaking. Yeah. And Mike, we've seen other restaurants do this, but any chance they will reopen with a limited menu and staff? They have been thinking about that, Ginger. Great question. Now, we've confirmed there is a potential soft opening, but that all hinges on the food supply. If the trucks are not rolling in from New England, they're going to remain closed. All right, Mike, thank you. Sure.